Good afternoon, guys. It is 2018. Uh, I'm out at my shop working on my Jeep. I got uh, I got vacation this week. Oh, pardon my masterpiece of this. <laughs> pardon my junk. Um, I have the entire week off, and uh, I'm gonna try to get a few things done. One of those things is I put a light bar on my Jeep and I've never wired it up. It's a little bit of trouble, so I figured to wait until I had plenty of time to be patient with it. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing all this, it's freaking freezing out here. Uh, probably the coldest day yet. <clears throat> oh, I think today is colder than even the day that it snowed. So, but I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna do to my Jeep. I'm gonna show you guys. So, uh, basically, you got this light bar, which is sitting up here, and it mounts, it's a pillar mount. Mounts right there. Now, I actually bought some bolts that were supposed to fit, uh, but they don't. So, I'm gonna wire it up, and then I'll have to come back another day and, and change these bolts out. Uh, but it will fit, one bolt will hold this thing on. I've been driving for probably uh, quite a few hundred miles. <laughs> uh, I've had it on there for probably a month and a half. So I'd, I've probably put about 1,500 miles on it, driving it to work uh, with this thing on. So uh, as you can see, Christmas and junk and just unfinished projects. My shop is a freaking mess. So please excuse. But uh, in the meantime, so what I got to do is I've got to take this panel off and take the windshield wipers off. Uh, I've got to solder my wiring harness to this and seal it up first before I bolt it on and it's going to run behind the pillar and it's going to run down and come across and come out here this uh, this mount here the corner is going to stop about right there and the wire will come out there and go behind this panel and run right into here and this is where my battery is so uh i'll try to video as much as i can so this is a 2003 jeep tj um i've been driving the crap out of it i love this thing the light set up my shop is uh subpar for doing what i'm doing right now because it's just disgusting and my, i got half my light bulbs are out so I'm using a drop light. So I'm gonna fix that in the future. But for right now, we're gonna do this. So I'm putting a little solder on the wires. freezing out here had a little setback had to do some plumbing but uh problem with that is now i've let it get really cold out so um what i've done so far took all the screws out of this panel right here and i soldered these wires together i got to put some some wrap on them uh, before I wrap them up, I'm gonna pop the hood 
and connect it to connect the lights to the battery just to test it out got my heater on at my feet so uh yeah give me just uh, so got the positive and the negative here i connect see if i can just hold it get any juice oh we got power light bar works. Woo. So, that's awesome. That thing is bright too. Okay, so we know it works. So time to wrap it up. Wrap up the wires. Alright, so here's where we are. So put the ground, connected it straight to the ground side of the battery. Took the positive. I've got a I've got an amplifier running to the back. I've got power running to the very back of the Jeep running off this tab, this post here. This is the the uh, 12 volt feed to the relays in the, the factory uh, fuse box. And so there's two posts here. So I just used one of those and the box very neatly closes down. Um, for now, I've just got uh, the relay. I'm just gonna wire it to the side. I actually have a relay box <clears throat> that I'm gonna wire in. Oh. I'm gonna add. Sorry, guys. This is tough to do. It's cold. So I'm gonna add this relay box that I bought aftermarket on uh, Amazon. And I'm gonna install it, and uh, I'm gonna have all my accessories running off of this. And uh, probably going to mount it uh, on the other side. There's a there's a spot to like add an auxiliary battery or something. There's a tray over there, so I'm probably going to use that and run power across to it and run all of my accessories off of that. But I just got to take time to um, wire those things up. But for now, we're just going to run the switch. Uh -oh. As you can see, light bar is alive. I gotta run this switch now to the inside of the cab. Uh, temporarily, I'm gonna use this switch, but I have a switch in the dash, so I'd rather use it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Blah, it's cold. All right. right here this is under the there's a this hole right here right behind the front passenger tire there's like a subframe rail here anyway this gap right here behind the uh, fender flare goes all the way up it's open all the way up to the battery so I've got this pulled through it's also where I have my uh, power wire going to the back I've got all the tie rats loose I'm having to, I'm gonna redo that here in a moment <clears throat> so I'm gonna route this the same I'll go around this right there and this hole so there's a big hole right beside right beside the frame mount here go back one more large hole if you can see that if I can get second it's the second large hole back that hole goes right up through the fender I mean through the uh, floorboard it's the passenger floorboard hole right in the edge if I press up right here I'm actually touching my uh, floor mat so I'm gonna run it up through there all right <coughs> reset my parking brake the lights working it is freaking bright I mean, right. Um, heater's off. It's freezing out here, guys. It's night. Uh oh. Whew. Let's 
sec. Everything's secure, out of the way. Back out. Plug it in trolley. Jesus cold. You guys live up north. Kudos to you. Oh, my shop is a freaking mess. Test. Um, let's see. This is just this is my headlights. This is with my fog lights, and this is with my light bulb. Holy crap! That thing is bright. Ooh. Lights up quite a bit. Guys, I never would have thought that they, they can get this thing on Amazon for like a hundred bucks. No, I take that back. I think I got this thing on Amazon for like 60 bucks. It was cheap. With the brackets and the wire harness. This is freaking crazy. Live on me. Good drive. I am cold. Light bar's off for a second. It's cold and hard to hang on this camera, so pardon the shaky craziness while I'm trying to navigate. <laughs> Light bar. Gee. My neighbor Justin here, he's got a Jeep. He's got a little, uh, I think it's like a two foot, 24 inch light bar on his hood of his Jeep. I see why everybody does the light bar. That's crazy. Alright. Tell you what, I'm probably gonna put one of these on my truck. That is freaking insane. Seem to get uh I want You know in the beginning I was really thinking of doing some crazy stuff in my Jeep. I feel like I've been driving it and I just, I really like it, but what I, what I want to do, what I do want to do, 
I don't know if you can see this, but uh, the running board type things, I want to, uh, I think I'm going to build some. Uh, a lot of people call them rock sliders, I believe. We don't have rocks around here, so to me, it's just running boards. I'm going to build some, and I'm going to put two. Uh, I think they're like four by four LED lights like that in those. And I also want to, uh, you definitely can't see back here. I want to put something like that back here too, but I have a soft top. So I want to be able to flip a few switches and freaking light up the world. And I can right now in front. <laughs> that's crazy, guys. I'm telling you. Golly, that's bright. Thing of the beast. I'll put a link below. But nonetheless, it's cold. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, we'll just call this vlog good. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Like, subscribe. This is my O3 GTJ. Appreciate you.